Yo, what's going on, guys? Philip Petrosev, the man, the 76ers, drafted him, and now they're bringing him over this year. He is playing great in FIBA. Dude, he hit three of three threes tonight. He was seven of eight from the field as the, yes, Mr. Ooh. Philip Petrosev just won this game for his team, playing 17 minutes, scoring 17 points, grabbing six rebounds, two assists. I loved it every single moment, okay? Showing what he could be part of. And I think, look, this is going to be an interesting year, especially for Petrosev. But this is a guy that I really liked coming out of you know mega he had won the adriatic league mvp six foot eleven with like a seven foot wingspan he was actually a guy who may you know he played with rui hachimura brandon clark kelly and tilly all right guys who were in the nba and for me i really like what he's able to do he's a guy who can shoot well from three he's really good out of ball screens he's a good pick and popper the jump shot looks mechanically good and he's you know he's an oh he's decent standstill passer and he can make some dangerous passes out the elbow and for me he's just you know doing a good job for from what i'm saying is that i think petrosev has shown that he can either be a stretch four or a center like over the last few years he was an all-american at gonzaga went overseas won mvp then he climbed up went to a more competitive league struggled a little bit but the stretch shooting he has makes him a different ma make difference maker. Though, I think he's showing in FIBA physically, he makes up for the defensive concerns as he's not the type of player defensively you're looking for in today's NBA. As he's somewhat typically, be because he's not a great leaper or lateral mover, he's like a below average athlete for the center position because he's a good, you know, rotator and good at getting into drop coverage and using his verticality but he does struggle being put on an island and he's not able to stay in front of his man on defense but his usefulness is offensively because the thing is is petro is going to give it a shot in the nba and even if it doesn't work out this is a guy who's going to be one of the best players in europe's for the next decade or so making tons and tons of millions of dollars carrying yearly teams if he doesn't figure it out in the nba I think he has the tools to do it, but you know, it's again, it's all circumstantial, and you have to people have to understand that not everyone's gonna be a have success at the NBA level. There is, you know, there is some sort of not luck, but opportunity, and your skill set have to have to match what they're they want. So I, I think that is something that people do kind of forget and don't put into consideration. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think and why? But yeah, that's basically going to be it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's the video for today. Peace out.